Okay, guys, it is Christmas time in Tika Moon, and we are off hunting Cape Buffalo. And target acquired 500 meters due north. Okay, wind is good. We're going to drive up a bit closer here. Uh, we are on hiker difficulty because, of course, uh, we're doing a bit of uh, an analysis here. Uh, so there's been a dilemma with these uh, Cape Buffalo up here in the, the northwest corner of Tigamoon. So up here in the, the private lands of Rapturus Refuge, um, they all have a fitness uh, bonus up here. So I've always had a hard time um, culling these guys because with the bonus fitness, uh, a lot of them are spawning fit, like higher than 50%. So there isn't really any low fit. There are a few. There'll be 40% and you'll get the odd roll once in a while. Uh, but since there's no caller to uh, figure these guys out, like a low fit caller, you have to do it all on vision and the hunter sense readout up in the corner, of course. Uh, but there's a problem. Since these guys are always on the higher fit kind of side of things, uh, there's very rarely any one star mature. Like, see, here's a two star mature. And they seem to, they seem to, when they hit the mature stage, they'll start at the two star stage or something like that. And you can't really rule those guys out, right? Unless you're really keeping track of their age and like what age they're specifically. But there's so many to keep track of, it's really challenging. So I had uh, started to try and figure out uh, how to call them at an earlier stage, since you can't really use the mature stage. You will get the odd one star, but it's just very rare. So you have to s call them at the adult stage. So I needed to figure out a way, see here's a one star adult here, to try and figure out if a one star adult is 50 to 60 percent in that sort of range and not like an 80 percent one star adult. So I, I want to leave 70 percent and higher, but I want to get in between the, you know, the 50 and the 60 and the 65s. But I haven't been able to really figure it out because the horns always seem to be fairly uh, identical because uh, they, they have a they have a curl variant and then they have a more straighter variant. But that is not an indicator of fitness. However, they still have what all the other species have. Uh, they'll they'll be lopsided, right? Uh, so I was in the the official Discord, and you can get out of here. Yeah, you just you just cruise away there. And I'd brought this up. Uh, does anyone know <laughs> how to tell, a, you know, a 60% one-star adult uh, compared to an 80% a one-star adult? Figuring no one would be able to figure that out, just because the horns wouldn't have developed enough yet, and no one, or uh, and no one probably hasn't looked yet. But sure enough, uh, one of the uh, more um, consistent hunters. <laughs> in the community at uh, Reinhard. He, uh, he's in the official Discord all the time. And he, he plays a lot away the hunter. And he posted screenshots of exactly what I wanted to see. A 60% and an 80%. And he was showing the difference in the screenshots. So I'm going to see if I can figure this out. So we got a four-star mature in there. We're going to have to remember that. Uh, so that is my goal. Well, we're in hiker difficulty because I need the, the boosted... Uh, well, they're all alert now. I need the boosted camera range. I'm going to try to identify the horns uh, between the 60 and 80 percent adult one with the with the photo camera, uh, and then I'll also try and do it with the new fancy scope to see if you can actually tell the differences with the new what we're using as a spotting scope now, right? Uh, so that is the goal. And I brought the 338 for the not kidding around part, and uh, flu flu for the rest. Like we got it a we have a uh, guy on an inv investigation here. There we go. They're coming out to investigate. And, uh, yeah. So what we need to do, because there's, there's so many of them, I'm just going to have to pick one. Get close enough in here, because even on hiker difficulty, you can spook them out of here. And I think the range is 120 meters for... I can't do the young. I don't. I don't. I don't know about trying to figure out the young. 
There's a one-star adult up there. But he's really, he's still far away. So, I gotta get closer. I think it's 120 meters. So is there any one-star adults that's right up here? Oh, there's one right here. Let's check this guy out. Okay, so the trouble is there's so many of them. Oh, let's see, there's two right beside each other. Okay, let's see. Can we get the camera in close enough? I got my eye on him here. So here's one. Oh, we should go into a pause mode. Let's analyze this, try and sort this out. Because this is the only way really to uh, to call these guys. As far as I can tell. Pause. Right? Uh, let me slow down the camera. Oh, we're, we're getting in the... We're getting in the shade here. This might be hard to see. Can I... We're doing the very realistic hunt here. <laughs> where we move the sun in the sky. To try and see better. Okay. So, if we take a look at these horns, we're looking at if one's basically longer than the other one, or, or wider than the other one. And this is this is too hard to tell. So in this situation, I'm going to say that he's fairly high fit. I'm looking for it to be fairly clear, and I, that's what I don't know. I don't know if you can... The screenshots were taken in the... Uh, that Reinhardt had were taken in the the trophy screen, like the trophy uh, screenshot, and it had guidelines and everything like that, so you could tell. But I don't know how you can tell without guidelines. Now, I think this is the other one. Yeah, see, he's got a curl here and not a curl here. So, if I can remember which one this is, the target's going to be this guy. Because I'm, we're going to find out here. I think I think he's going to be a 60%, like a 50 or 60. Now, okay, so I got to remember where he is. So he's the leading one cuz that's the four star. So he's the leading one right here. He's this one, right? Oh no, see now I can't. Oh, there's two of them right there. Darn it. All right, hold on a second. I got to figure him out. Yeah, he's this one right here. All right. Okay. I gotta keep my eye on him. See, he's gonna he's gonna get all mixed up here. So they're a hundred out. I think the three three eight is lined up there. Yeah. See, uh, the guy I want right in behind there. So I'm gonna have to wait and somehow watch him. Okay. He's through right here. Oh, the game still has that. Um, stutter sometimes when you first shoot mode in the game. Most noticeable with the shotguns, but I haven't used the shotguns in a while. So we're going to drive over there and check that out. So he was the one that we had spotted that had one side curling more than the other. So my guess, just just to start with a guess, is 50-60%. Maybe like a low 60. Alright, so here's the blood. Now if you're a, a newer player, Um, something was drifting on the screen there. I didn't see that before. What was that? <laughs> Anyways, if you're a newer player, and maybe I confused a newer player or not, I'm not too sure. Uh, normally in most habitats, we'll call everything below 50% as a low fit. But when you're in a bonus, uh, in a private area, the animals that have that as a primary habitat get a bonus to their fitness. So, even though technically they're not low fit, yeah, at, you know, around the 60% mark. In this specific habitat, they are typically a low fit. Just because of when you're just focusing on this, this um, not this habitat, but this region. Now, I don't... Are they, are they alert? I don't actually want to send them because I want to take another one. Okay, we're good there. Let's just jog up. I'll probably alert them here. The wind's bad now. They ran with the wind. Okay, so let's take a look here. I don't think we can see the horns, because they, of course, we just don't have the technology to have horns not go into the ground, apparently. I'm not bitter at all. All right, let's grab this here. Oh, man, yeah, I'm getting a bit of stutters. Okay, so we got a nice right lung shot there. 
338, just not getting around. What do we have? 74%, eh? So higher than I thought. Too high. I didn't want to take a 74. But we can inspect them and try and figure it out. Okay, so they are fairly uh, symmetrical, but clearly this one's curling more than this one. But the overall size of the horns look to be about the same. Now, I'm not going to do any fancy guidelines or anything like that. Because uh, we have to be able to see this, you know, without putting lines on the screen or anything. You have to be able to judge it, right? So, looking at it from there, they look lopsided to me. So, that's kind of what a 70% looks like. Now, you have to remember there can be the version of the horns that doesn't curl very much. So, they're going to look different, too. But see, that I thought this one be, would be lower fit than a 74. This is still quite different. So we're looking for um, for ones that um, are really different, I guess. All right, we'll keep that in mind. So that's a 74% down. That doesn't help us at all. Oh, look. I unlocked them. Wow, my first day playing in Tegaman. <laughs> okay, so the wind's going to mess us up here. Maybe. Okay, is there another one-star adult that's off to the side that I can figure out? I wonder if we can do the same thing with a two-star mature and figure out if he's low fit. So here's a one-star adult coming out to say hi. So here's a perfect example, since he's going to be really easy to figure out here. Okay, he's looking very symmetrical. All right, so I'm not touching this guy. That's looking very equal. I sort of want to harvest him, just to see. And we might do it. We might sacrifice him, just to find out. Ah, uh, there's one right behind him, too. Okay, so it is this guy looking away. I'm going to wait till his head's up, though. He's got a different fur variant, too. So I wonder if that's an older or a younger one star adult. Look this way, buddy. Come on. He's going he's gonna to straighten his head, and it's going to be there. All right. So that's a symmetric guy. This is the other one star adult. How are you looking? He's looking very symmetrical, too. Like, these have to be very high fit. If that other one was a 70%, that's looking very, very good. What else do we have here? One star young. We're not going to look at the youngs. Two star mature. Let's check out this guy to the side. Can we do it with a two star mature? Because that would be handy too. Let's see. Now his head's down, so it makes it more challenging. So his right side is fairly long. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to have to change. Can I change the sun again? Did it remember our time? No, it reset our time. No, yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the sun. The sun's going to be on one side or the other. Okay. Yeah, this is, his head's down, making it too hard. He's looking fairly symmetrical to me, though. The right side's looking a little longer. Man, I can't, I can't decide on that one either. I'm definitely, I'm really wanting to see the guys that are clearly lopsided. And that one was, though, that 74%. I think that's the one we already looked at, right? Oh, no, it's not. Right in the back, looking away, there's another one star. Of course. Um, let's spin the sun around. Because this one, the sun should be able to get. There. These guys are all looking... fairly the same. This one's curling a little bit more than this side. 
But is that is that horn shorter though? Hmm. Tricky. Tricky tricky tricky. Like he's looking like Um Like he'd be a seventy percenter as well, right? Well let's let's hit him. Just to experiment here. So I'm saying in the 70s, which I don't really want to take, but I'm curious. And he's turning, but I was impatient. Let's just make sure he goes down. Oh, I'm going to get run over. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Forgot about that. Okay, back in action here. They didn't really go far. An old hiker difficulty. I don't think I'm going to take any more. Unless the guy in the lead is really kind of crooked. Let's take a look here. Yes, of course, the sun. Always dark. Swinging around. How's he looking? He's looking about even. Maybe a bit more of a curl. Yeah, see, there's nothing giving that guy away either. Very tricky. I think that's the four star there. I suppose we can just look through the crowd and see, you know, who who's looking kind of lopsided. See, this guy is, but is that a female? Who's right in front here? Yeah, it's a female, so yeah. I guess they can have lopsided. Well, but you should be able to tell them apart though, just from the size. See, the two one stars are right here in the back. But I think I've looked at them, right? I don't know if the camera will go this far. Looking very symmetrical there, and I think this is another one. But he's he doesn't have the curl versions, and he's looking symmetrical too. Okay, we'll let them go because I'm gonna check out a different herd. But let's see, this one I had predicted was. Am I getting charged again? This one I had predicted uh, was higher 70s. Just based off the one we just got. Alright, first shot was bad, so good good thing I took the second one. And then what do we have? Higher 70s. Hey, we might be onto something here. Okay. Well that means the other ones are gonna be higher than this guy. Alright, so maybe we are calling. <laughs> but that's an awfully high fit call. Alright. Uh let me see if I can find Another herd. They're not hard to find out here. It's a drink time. So I just have to kind of cruise around the water. Because it should have been this one I found. Uh, I should actually check right behind. Make sure. Okay, there's another herd right down here. I, I don't think this is the one I just spooked. <laughs> oh, the wind's going right at him, of course. Yeah, there wasn't a two-star adult in the other one, right? Oh, there's a couple two-stars. Yeah, we definitely don't touch the two-star adults. Uh, they're all in there. I'm going to have to go around to the other side, though. There's a two-star mature we can look at. There's a one-star adult right there. He's 150 out, though. we got to get closer. But he's facing the right way, and he's even facing the sun. No! Stay down. Okay, the camera should reach that. Let's go take a look at him. Yeah, these guys I haven't disturbed yet. They're right in the, the water hole still. Let's take a look at this guy. Okay, so he is lopsided. But that's looking like the 70%. Oh, 
not actually sure where the brain sits. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that was weird. The action hadn't ran yet. Oh, what a glitch that is. Um, I uh, I had uh, gotten charged and r ran over while holding the left mouse button down, so I hadn't ran the action yet. So the the, gu the gun's action hadn't run yet. That's an interesting one. All right, let's go uh, pick him up. He looks like a low 70s, like the first one we got. I didn't really want to shoot them, but uh, I'm not seeing anything worse than that. Grab these guys. Okay, nice slam into the lung. Low 70s. He's, he looks just like the, the first one with the curl. And it, it's not horrible. Like the horns are like the si same size, but we got a curl and whatnot. Okay, I want to know what a um, what one below the 70s look like. I really want to find a six, like in the 60s because this is definitely doable here. It looks like it's panning out. Okay, they just ran right here. We got some uh, kudo down there too. Anything great down here? These, of course, you can just use the sticks for. Okay, there's two star mature. We can see him. He's right in the middle, and that's a pain. Oh! Well, hello. Uh, and there's one star adult there. Now, I know five stars are exciting, but the five star Cape Buffaloes up here are just okay. <laughs> Because this thing just makes so many of them. I know I don't have a ton of them, but I'm not I'm not surprised to have I found one. So we'll have to take him out. But before I do I I, I still I'm still doing my test run here. Two star adult. The problem is the ones I want to see are all bundled up in there. There, right beside the five star. Oop, let's get the camera going. How's this guy looking? Hello, five star. So it's this guy, right? He's looking high fit. So we won't get him. Is there another male in here? Are you a male? I think you're a young one. There is a two-star mature in here somewhere. I think it's this guy. And I mean, those antlers are look, antlers. Those horns are looking really good too, though. Yep, I'm just just flooded with high fit a cow or bulls here. He's looking fine too, but he's a two star. All right, uh, so nothing to take but the uh, but the five star. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna flu flu this guy. He's standing up there. Maybe he'll come out and inspect me. Oh, he's turning. No, wrong way. Don't go up there. Come on, guys. Cooperate. It's too far for flu flu arrow. We gotta get up into these rocks. Now they're looking at me. Oh, they're alerted. Stop. I don't know if I can do a bow shot that far. I don't think I can. I don't have any sight on it or anything. It's full hunter sense. Oh, range up. Yeah, see? It's gonna be... I don't even have a... A dot. Let's see if we can get up here. Yeah. This is going to be actually hard to get close to this guy. Oh, 
Well, I'm not here. There you go. I'm probably gonna end up spooking him. So he, he probably has to turn to go rejoin them. Oh, I have the rear leg artery shot there. Oh, he, now he's jogging away. You bugger. Did, did they catch the wind, didn't they? Or I just kind of messed them. I messed them all up. I did. I alerted them too many times. Well, this is going to be 3-3-8 three, three, time. Alright, let's have a little fun with this guy. No, not that. Uh, here, I got actually a question. Can you jump out of the UTV with the bow pretty much at the ready? Or does he have to knock it every time? He probably has to knock it every time. To jump out and try and flu-flu him on the run. I don't think I spooked him. Did I spook him? No, doesn't matter. I just want to test this out. So we're in. And then we jump out. Oh, we can. Alright. Uh, except I don't need to be... Okay, where's where's the dot on a, on a 30 meter shot here? Well, 30 meters, of course. Uh, so 30 meters. Let's try. This could be fun. Playing around with a five star. Used to do this with a 16 gauge when it was a uh, powerhouse. All right. Here we come. Where are you? Is that him there? No. Uh, how come I can't see any great big horns? No, you're not big enough. Oh, there he is. I got him. He basically has wings. Look out, guys. I don't want to run him over. Okay, we'll get in front of him. Jump out. No, he has he has to be perfectly stopped before he'll get out of the UTV. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, that's it's kind of cheating. Oh, don't want to cheat. Get in the UTV. Okay, we'll do this. Run them all over the place. Oh, there he is. There he is. Which way is he going? He keeps turning. Get out, get out. Ah, oh, he's turning. Quit running away. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have, to, gonna have to get the 338 out here in a second. Sometimes you have to be stubborn though. Don't run them over. Oh, yeah, nice stutters. They're right in the key moment. Okay, we're going to get in front. Nope. Is that him? See, I can't even, I can't even tell. I can't see. Yeah, it was him, too. <sighs> no problem. Just, I got nothing better to do. Where are you? There he is. Whoa. Oh, he was about to lay down. Out of the way. Out of the way, guys. Going after your leader. Okay, you're in trouble now. Oh, really? Go the old 180. So he's not the leader. He's following somebody else. Oh my good lord. 
The rocks. Get out. Oh, action not allowed. E ah. So much for that. Hammer in the key to switch the weapon. And of course it doesn't do it. Range up. What's he at? He's going to be 300. Rear leg artery shot guy. I mean, I could try the same tactic, but with a 338. That could be fun. Alright. Give him a second here. Okay, he's making me grumpy now. Stopped with his bum facing us. Yep. Alright. Well. All that means is we try with a 338 this time. Give another go here. Probably plunk him in the head or something like that by accident. It's much better with the 16 gauge. Hey guys. Oh. Oh, come on. Have a wait. Move. Turn. Turn. Oh. Get out of the other way. Move. There. <laughs> Anyone else? They're not even running that fast. Okay. Uh, so I could have used the bow there. Why couldn't? Why couldn't I have done that? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> what do we got? Big old slam. Four meters. Ninety-six percent. He's a really good one. But is he old? Probably not. Oh, he is. Okay, so he's maxed out. Well, let's taxidermy him. Because uh, he's uh, a prime specimen there. Alright, so that was good. 493. Taxidermy. Alright, uh, video's going along. I, we'll try one more herd here, see what we can find. Alright, there's a Cape Buffalo out here all by himself. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing. I started coughing. All right. Uh, sure. Why not? Wind's going at him. I do want to. I do want a flu flu arrow in though. Okay, he's by himself. Let me try it one more time. So much. So much for uh, me checking out another herd here. So this is a solo cape buffalo. Who turned five star? All right, so can we get in front of this guy? Maybe they tire out. I'm just gonna turn, and I'm gonna run into these stupid rocks. Well, some of you may be saying it's a five star. Just get the five star. Well, this zone just kind of spits them out. You just kind of play long enough, you'll run into a bunch of these guys. You gonna tire out? I'm gonna go up here. Jump out. Oh, he turned. He did. Alright, never mind. That's too challenging. Alright, what do we got here? Is that a hit? Are you gonna run at me? Okay, bring it, buddy. Come on. Oh! Ah, oh, it. Action not allowed. Because of stupid cheap. Come on now, game. This game's making me mad sometimes. I don't. I don't know if I hit him in the head or not. I don't want to hit him in the head. There we go. Hopefully none of them ruined the trophy. Quite possible that I did. 
Who's running down here? Oh, hello guys. Was there anybody in the Kudo herd? I wonder if... Oh, I, I have the bag of sticks. I don't know. I th I, a a high-fit Kudo uh, would gain stars really fast because they don't, they don't live very long. One bullet. Oh no, let's get, let's get more bullets. Rear leg harder shot. Out of the way. Oh no, I don't know which one he is. Who's the wounded one? Wounded? Is he already down? He's gotta be hurting. Alright, I'll we'll go look for him in a minute. Okay, let's go get this guy. I'll put the bow away. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, so much for figuring that all out, but I kinda got a good feel for what 70% looks like. But I didn't actually see any 60%. See how high fit all these guys are? All right, did I wreck you? Let's take a look. Stomach. Butt. Um, leg. 93%, five star. 477. Whatever, old taxidermy M2. Nothing to be excited about though. Just another day. Another day hunting Cape Buffalo trophies. Alright, we'll just scoot over here. Oh yeah, he's down right here. I hit him through the bushes. Three shots? Yeah. It's a good third shot then. Did I get the artery? No, not even close. Well, graphically, it sort of did. Oh no, it was inside. Oh, another attempt at the artery. Oh no, that was definitely a butt. And another butt shot. Three butt shots. 72%. Whatever. Okay. Uh, do I try one more? Oh, no, it's 37 minutes. Okay, we're gonna have to cut the video there. Uh, that was my plan, though. Is, uh, maybe I'll do another one of these. Just to see if I can, uh, find a 60%. Get some more intel on it. Uh, because I get easily distracted. Well, we'll see, uh, we'll see later down the road. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, let me know any questions or concerns. What you think about this sort of setup here. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time. Happy hunting.